help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. We say the truth the way it is. The way we see it is the way we say it. Now we want to tell you that uh, Governor Oti is one Igbo governor. You can at least say that, oh, he really has Igbo blood in him. Every other governor in Igbo instruction has Fulani blood. The way they love Fulani, the way they lie against our people, the way they, you know, give allegations, the way they condemn our people, the way they condemn our culture, everything we are doing you know, gets them irritated. They prefer to live in a, you know, fake life to welcome what is not working for them all in the name that they want to maintain status quo. This man said over 80 bodies recovered around Umucheze cattle market in Abia. Governor Oti. Governor Oti is explaining and uh, condemning and shouting. This is what we are finding out. Come on. He said Governor Oti of Abia State says security intelligence showed the ransom paid for kidnapped victims we are always dropped off around the Umucheze cattle market in Lobanta of Umunochi local government area of Abia State, of course. Mr. Oti, during the monthly media party at the government house, Omar has said this was discovered after several electronic equipment were installed in different parts of the state. A few weeks ago, we found that a lot of the ransom that was paid for kidnapping ended up somewhere around Umu, Umu Nochi local government. We decided to dominate the place. And what we saw was shocking. In less than 48 hours, we recovered over 80 dead bodies around the cattle market. And we recovered 20 headless bodies, decomposing bodies, which include adults and children. We recovered uncountable skeletons of people who had been killed and left to decompose, still around that axis, he said. The governor expressed the resolve of the state government to rid Abia of all forms of crime because no government succeeds in the face of insecurity. He said the government will neither condone nor get involved in supporting insecurity in any form or manner. Mr. Oti also said different forms of crime such as gun running, prostitution, narcotic, trade and heavy use of substances were highly operational in the cattle market. He said investigation we are ongoing to ascertain the people who, people involved in the crime adding that this informed the decision of the state government to change the cattle market into general market he said the state government had taken a step to secure the market by fencing it and issuing a directive to the non-residential daily market which would open from 6 a.m. through 6 p.m. Mr. Oti said, in line with the government's directive, the market will no longer be exclusively for selling cattle, but it will operate as a general market where other items will be sold. Now, some persons say that we had sent away the outside community living in Abia. But remember, when we saw the skeletons, we did not know which skeleton belonged to either Alsa or Yoruba. The spread of false information led to Northern Group issuing quick notice to Igbos living in the North to leave and come back to East, he said. The government explained that meeting was held with the group during which explanations were given about the government's intention. We challenged them that nobody that is not in support of what we are doing must, that anybody 
that is not in support of what we are doing must be a criminal. Then they saw reason with us and reversed themselves, he added. Oh my goodness, this is the best news. Oh, this is the, this is the, the most truthful governor. This is a wonderful governor of his people. You see, Lord Banta is uh, where the criminals, the Fulanese, the military, the police, they are perpetrating evil, killing our people, collecting ransom, doing rituals of all kinds, you know, wasting blood and bodies of people. This is exactly what is going on. And even as we speak, not until that, that market is built and that market be taken over by general public, like it will not be full and it's something, it's not cattle something again, it will be a general market. If you want to sell your cattle, you go there. If you don't want to sell, you take to the north. Wow, this governor is very, very sensible, highly intelligent. This is a way to go. This is a way to stop Ozadema and his boys from killing our people in all manners. You know, this is uh, what, what, um, Audrey Okando cost the emo, cost Ndibo in general. Who knows whose skeleton is there and whose skeleton will be there? Can you imagine killing over 80 people, 20, 100? They are killing on daily basis, blood everywhere. Everywhere will be smelling, vulture everywhere because of dirtiness, because of gullible, because of, oh my goodness, because of horrible things they are doing in our in our forest all in the name of Fulani market well god don't catch you now everything that has beginning has an end indeed it has come to an end of course with our men on ground and with the governor aiding our men on ground and taking charge and control of what belongs to us that will stop the insecurity dislodge them flush them out of that area, let the men on ground please take note to go there and do the needful so that we will not regret, so that we will not fall into the pit of our enemies. Because whoever that dies today did not, will, not, <clears throat> will not live to tell the story tomorrow. So we must protect our people with everything in us. We must have to protect Ndibo, we must protect the youth, must protect the young men especially because it's actually the young men they kill so that we will not have posterity you see that's it that's what we have for you right now as news how and what do you think you can say to this governor by finding out all these things happening in other states